Continuing with this second day, we will have the participation of the Bachelor Rodrigo Oliveira Gutierrez, Operative Manager of the Association of Producers and Exporters of Avocado in Mexico. Bachelor in Economy by the University of Michoacán in San Nicolás, with professional tests in the elaboration of exportation plans of fresh products to the U.S. Appointed as a Technical Secretary of the Coordination for Planning for the Develop and Preparation for the Development Plan for 2012, and Advisor in Education in the following two years to the government. He worked at the private sector as a specialist in the bank in Bank of America, Xibal, Banorte, Ixe, Intercam. He has sustained different collaboration with different associations uh, with the Mexican Association of the Responsible Standardization of the Management of uh, Information and different education of uh, the highest levels and the Alliance of Free on Articulture for the responsibility, social responsibility increment. As part of his duties to operate of Opera, has under his responsibility offer different services to the associates on the producers and the package, put in a planification pro model of cooperation. And also keep an eye on the different rules and regulations provided by the Haas Avocado to the U.S. in Mexico. Conference positioning of the products in the market international in success case of the avocado in the U.S. Have a very good day, all of you. Yours truly, Rodrigo Oliveira Gutierrez. I'm very happy to have the opportunity to share on this day the experience of this industry and all that have to do with the success case, as a success case world level of the avocado. I want to transmit the greetings of the president of this association, Mr. Gabriel Villaseñor Sorita who wish you the best and success for this event. And that is very useful likewise from the engineer Armando Lopez Orduño, who is our general director and who is very proud to be able to share this day, this presentation that we prepare for all of you without further ado. And with all the opportunity that we have at hand about the success of the Mexican avocado on the marketing at world level and all this history and all the meaning they have the avocado here in Michoacán in all Mexico. And we began with sharing what is the APAM. APAM is the producers and packers of avocados in Mexico. It comes from 1977 at the beginning before there was uh, other attempts to begin. But finally, we had an association with 22 years and are very successful in this process. APAM is one of the five operators, partner, operator partners that have the SADERS in the and the US government that we become that cooperative partner that wishes the characteristics and have a proper export plan and that is that all the certified orchards in Michoacán keep growing up, that we keep doing the exportation and under the brand that is Avocados Mexico that represents us world level. This, um, this industry is sustaining characteristics, very, very special characteristics. The first one is that this line that you can see the avocado is all the part that they are painted in uh, in a specific color, they are uh, in real time and in real uh, the hectare that we uh, have now on the, the different characteristics and that we are working on them that right now. And that is favorable for the characteristics of the avocado and a volcanic soil that provides very important characteristics for this fruit and as a spare structure. We have uh, things as the very solid organization. We've been working 22 years working as a team together, the packers and the producers, and we also set the support um, for our plants of exportation and the food and administration of the U.S. This together. Uh, with, uh, with the certifications and the retailers that request and that the same authorities 
to make sure that all the fruits are in the condition and in the best way to be able to bring it to our consumers. Uh, commercially, we have an internal market very strong. Mexico um, intakes about a kilograms per capita. We are the main market of the world as an association. We have the view to invest very importantly in the marketing. This is a task that is going to be explained in a, a little bit forward and how it's done. We have a great concentration commercially and one of our slogan is availability all year long. That uh, a little bit ahead I'm going to explain you how those that work. There's a whole history behind this for the marketing of the avocado and I want to talk how did it begin and uh, the avocado is uh, grow here in Uruapa and in the 39 municipality that it comes in this exportation plan long before since 1980 from 1950 we started to grow avocado this in this in this area but never with the intention of achieve what we have now but in 1980 we have certain conditions certain commercial treaties that allowed us to export to Europe and well to Europe because as it happens in the US we had uh, some barriers or phytosanitary barriers that do not allow to export avocado to the US but we have the size the intent and moreover the experience to export so in 1980 I started uh, doing the exports to Netherlands, Spain, and certain European countries. Those exports and those experiences let us know and give us some learning because after 10 years of hard work, we are able to export through Japan and Canada. They were uh, farther away, but with achievements and with benefits and experience for those exporters. Later, and with a big effort in 1997, with the support of the authority of the exportation plan that USA and Zagarpa at the time, been able to make the association and the CAPAM become the cooperative partner that the exportation is done, done properly to the US. The blockage finished and we are allowed to enter. This allowed that we grow up very importantly. So in 2013, we become a big association with the Mexican as avocado importers association, APM, to make the brand avocado for Mexico. is the brand that represents us in all in the world. I want to be talking a bit ahead. How this industry did grow? In the beginning, we began with about five. Um, five uh, packagings and now we are 65 and producers we began in 1987 with 60 producers now we are more than 29,000 so we have grown very significantly as per the municipality certified for the exportation at the beginning we had four now we have 39 with this plan we began with 61 orchards we have more than 40,000 on the record and hectares 1,500 and now 137,000 and all this effort is being surveyed by 17 local different departments as you can see in all this uh, map that let us precisely do a follow-up and those local um, offices overview that the exportation plans is achieved every day properly. They are uh, several data that I want to share with you and has to do with the growth of the industry and how are we stratified. I believe that the concentration and the growth of the worker is done between few people. No, it's done with a lot of people. The benefit and the beneficial of the economy and the detonator of that is the avocado. And as we can see here, the graphic, 41% of the product associated product producers of our association have between 0.1 and 5 hectares from little orchards in the backyard of the house, 6 trees, 230, uh, 23 producers have between 5 and 10 hectares, and the next one between 10 and 20, and finally 17% represent from 20 hectares or more. Important data because the 
expanding of the money is great and we have more than 400,000 employees or different kinds of work directly in directors and it's one of the main incomes of this mutual kind of state. Well, how are we structured as per organization? As I mentioned at the beginning, we are a civil association that always look at balanced representation. We have 39 municipalities working in this exploitation plan as producers of avocado. We have 65 packing places that helps together to achieve this process and this change value change change of value now of those 60 the municipalities and the packing we have association of delegates and is represented with 24 producers and 24 packers and those make the decisions and make the annual budget, etc., and all the important subjects. And moreover, we have a board, a very equilibrated board with four producers and four pockets. And uh, from this uh, organization, this structure, every two years we renew it. And being two years uh, president, a producer, and two years a packing person so everything there's a balance and everything comes as a positive thing and has allowed that for 22 years this industry keep growing and significantly until we reach the number that we have now there's well well we do not work alone we have collaborators with several institutions that they are very important within this plan obviously and basically with the SADER and with the department of agriculture of the u.s the SADER with the uh, areas in asica that help us with the sanitation the statal committee of sanitation and that helps all the different departments and that helps on the plants on this uh, producing area that has grown so much this industry that we need to hire third parties external verification unit that support the different tasks that can be in the CIAD for next bank we have all this uh, value change with the help of the certified laboratories the certified that the fruit it goes in the conditions that is marked by the exportation plan and guaranteed that to a consumer that it comes in the proper condition all of you uh, together with a good organization with an excellent communication and always with the same objective we work all day so APM is strong and well what happened with the commercial evolution I'm going to show you in four slides what's going on and how are we distributed commercially the main bulk of the production of avocado of this area Michoacan goes to the US about 85 percent why because we have free trade deals treaties because they are close by because it's the main consumer of foods and because the logistic possibilities allow it to do that more easily and more, but also have presence in Japan with the 5 percent of the total production and we have Canada that uh, have 5 percent but it's been growing bigger than Japan because we replicated the models and models of marketing and they've been beneficial for us and for the consumer we export to Central America about 2 percent of the production without doing any promotion the Central America people uh, have the culture on eating avocado we have 2 percent exportation to Europe that was our pioneer area and finally with uh, no one percent within uh, the Asia area what is very important let know that we, we've been working in labors of education on the consumption of avocado as it's a very important market but since we haven't the concentration so focus in the US we have to be very careful of having you know fruit the quality and the fulfillment of the regulations to achieve that country we are working very hard on that some of our packets have important presence in china it's part of the work that is being uh, coming in the future as for exportation the season 1920 that we just closed in july we exported more than 1 million tons of, of avocado in all those areas that we and i let you know that uh, something that's 
going on in the U.S. or my market. We came from a shutdown of borders of several years, and thanks to the work done to into the Department of Food and Zagapa in Mexico that allow us to go into the U.S. for only the 19 states of the Republic for the for four months. That came with a very strong work from several people that they have to move to grow up and to the U.S. and do the promotion of the veteran it work out because three years after that we are allowed to 30 states and now for six years of the year. After was and continuing with that work of the association, we are in 49 states all year long, and just California and uh, uh, out of this export, export plan because the main production is precisely carried out in the U.S. on California. However, after a lot of work on the year 2007, we were able to uh, open to all the U.S. and the main beneficial on that was the California State because since we are working the promotion and the benefits of the advocate in the U.S., as a reflex, they were benefited because of that. And now that we have great relationships precisely with that state and all the rest. As per the increment on the production in, in, the, in, that, uh, in this area, we produce more than 1 million tons. Up to now, on the last data, we are in 690,000 tons on the production center that we have, uh, 35 in the orchards. And as per export to the U.S., we send uh, just to the state, to this country, 914. Now we have 600,020 tons, and we expect to have a data similar to last year or even a little bit bigger bigger for a small amount. As per other markets, uh, focus it, we can see it here on this slide. We export the 147,000, right now we have 92,000 and those are distributed as follows. The main part of other, the fruit that goes to other part is concentrated in Canada, 34%, in Japan, 28%, China with 5 some European countries as France, uh, Spain, 7 and 5 percent, and some other Central American countries. This part that comes, and they are going to share this time, is all the part that sustain, that is the base, the spirit of the association, which is the promotion. And being careful with the exportation plan, APM does a lot of marketing. This model of marketing and promotion is very close related to the needs of the market that is directed. It's in this case to the U.S., and I want to start by letting you know that in 2013, as I was mentioning in the first slide, APAM and the Mexican has avocado, avocado importers decide to merge an association where we can have the benefit provided by that country, so through the recovery of some taxes, we can do promotion precisely in the U.S. This comes into the brand Avocados for Mexico since 2013 represent us, and it's been very successful and allow us to be present in some important event of promotion. Precisely in the U.S., you know that the American football is the with more fans there, and the sport with more fans. Those sports our participants and decided that the Super Bowl decided will we decided the Super Bowl will be a dual option. The first time that it was 2015, there was uh, a certain fear to participate in those events that they are very competitive with a lot of uh, attention by part of the consumer and we there to do that first announcement in 2015 that was very successful and allowed us to be in the top three of uh, the different commercials on the Super Bowl because it's the first 
fruit that was announced in a Super Bowl in the history of this event. That allowed us that in 2016 we continue with this adventure, now promoting of brand always in season and not just in the, uh, in the air, but as you can see in the slide, we were certain aliens here in Avocado that uh, this commercial have a great acceptance. A little bit ahead, in 2017, we promoted the healthy part of the avocados, all those commercials that I'm letting you know, the first five were located in the top ten of the best commercials on the Super Bowl and always in the social networking on the first three. The last commercial that we did in 2020 has to do with uh, all the care that has to do with the care of the avocado, the love that the people can have to that product. And I want to share with you this last message of the last message that located us between the first five commercials in the Super Bowl. Bienvenidos a la tienda de avocados de México. Vean, vean nuestro modelo. As you can see, well, all these kind of commercials has a humor, a very American humor. A lot of people like them, they adopted pretty well, and that's also allowed to raise the numbers in the consumption of worker. A little bit ahead of you, you're going to see a graphic how to sell you here. All those process of the Super Bowl comes together with several promotions. Of course, the promotions uh, go along uh, the whole year. We have every important contact through our offices in the U.S. to do different commercials and symbiosis with other Mexican companies as being both to make a sandwich. And Luis Luis Rocco will the consumers of Okero make game, uh, win a... Uh, um, uh, different meat uh, for to, to cook their meat in the form of avocado to have tickets for the Super Bowl or for college football as you can see here this kind of racks that we handle we always put them in a strategic places within the malls and the uh, retail shops so they recognize the food and those brands that we with the ones that we measure at the first view is comes this with the first view. Is view. This is the slide that I mentioned, the graphic that I mentioned, all this effort is reflected on the consumption of avocado per capita in the U.S. We have data from the year 2000 where they eat about one kilo per head and now we, the last data that we have is of 3.9 kilos per person. So the increment has been very significantly and the intent is that it keeps growing every year with those campaigns of promotionals that they are going to be permanent and very interesting. With this, I close the part of the U.S. and as I was saying, this model we have replicated in other countries, mainly in Canada and Japan, where every year we go to the international fairs and they give us opportunities to participate. We have pets, we have strategies, marketing strategies, very particular in Japan, you, you can see you can see our pet, it's a vocator that brings all the Mexicanity to that country that has the characteristics necessary to be recognized as such and that's allow us uh, a very important strategy. It's worth mentioning that in Japan the great majority of the consumers are adults. So we have focused on a strategy that the young people know the avocado and we have done certain promotions as the one that I'm going to show you in this video.
abocados por México. Bien, como les comentaba, esta promoción está en Well, as I mentioned, this promotion is uh, focusing to young people and precisely on Japan. And uh, I share the data. A lot of these young people that tasted the avocado and that kind of promotions, they were contacted afterwards. And as it happened, 95% of them that never tasted the avocado were able to eat it again in a smooth and fresh in toasted and toast in bread so the model has been successful in china we've been working also very importantly we are working through social network the penetration is wider and is uh, more accessible to all people and we have some examples as the store that you are going to see next es un avocado de México y acá en la descripción tiene recetas sobre para, para, para comer el avocado. Hay uh, los diferentes alimentos que debería comprar para hacer una receta y, uh, y cómo como cortar el, el avocado, cómo mixar, etc. para hacer recetas. Y cada receta tiene otra receta. Por ejemplo, aquí vamos a tener como una nueva receta y todos los productos que debería comprar para hacer este receta. Estamos en el Joma, que es la, la tienda de Alibaba, y donde hay todo... Good. As you can see, this is what we do in China. And finally, what are we doing in Canada? There is a similar model to the one that we use in the US. Good. With this part, we close that of uh, marketing and promotion and the history of the commercial area. It's important to speak about APM because now all the industries have to be focused in the social responsibility APM. Also, the overview on a successful exploitation plan in the last years and the marketing uh, merge and uh, agreements with several brands. We've been working also on an agenda that allow us to be um, on the vanguard of social responsibility models. We are part of the 2030 agenda of the UN. We are the only um, agent, the only uh, ones in Mexico that are part of that agenda. So we have to implement certain characteristics and certification that guarantee that we are working on the sustainability and we have achieved it so far. We have programs of support on education for child. We extend it to several schools that are within the production area. So the child are uh, developed or have a more developed and efficient educative models and we've been able to to put those schools that we support in the very important levels within the school um, measurements. We have a uh, reforestation, we have a very efficiency, 93% of the trees that we plant on the uh, area of the avocados, and we're participating with uh, Aji Forests and other associations, and we are doing certain certifications that we are socially responsible. 
this part of different uh, links or attachment with other uh, associations we have a we have now a foundation and we have helped more than 6,000 shots in more than 20 schools we have give, given more than 20 million pesos on infrastructure and we have 80, 835 shots graduated that we supported with different capacitation trainings with us with the board with um, education with uniforms and values we work with as we mentioned it with reforestation we began with this program we have more we have put more than one and a half million trees within the production area and we always push so every uh, avocado or shall have this part of deforestation we have more than 85 percent survival of those trees that we put in the ground above those levels is very complicated but uh, based on the success is that there are the um, trees that we put are two years old and not the uh, usually the small ones that generally everybody puts on the ground and now we have we know that there's a lot of to share and to talk i would like to close up with this video which is institutional video so you know what's the history of the avocado what is what we pretend and what do we do at the end of this presentation? Um, to remain your truly I know that we cannot have a Q&A, but through the coordinator of this Congress, I once again thank you for your invitation and your confidence. I will let my personal data and I will be under that uh, to any question you may have. And we expect to hear on our open so you can see here what we do and from APM. Thank you so much and we close with this video. The avocado exists for more than 1,500 years and survival due to the creatures that eat it, digest it, and spread it until it came to us, saving it from extinction. Michoacán, Mexico. Since the glaciers or avocados have grown on the land, less. Now, transitory. Apeam emerged on 1997 on this land that exports the best of its people. To take it to the world. Michoacan, 138,000 hectares, 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 hectares of production. Handled in such a way, very transparent, in a fair way and responsible. Now, Uruapan, Mexico. We make more than 370,000 jobs using the highest technology, certification, uh, association with other teams. We bring goodwill and benefits to the community. We fulfill the highest standards. 60 packaging companies for exportation. We came from a land of ancient men to reach the big cities in other languages. Japan, China, UA. Three days after was San Antonio, Texas. We feed 3.5 kilograms per capita and we created 28,251 jobs in the US. Three days after one, LA. Four days after one, New York. We bring jobs to the producers 
Apollo Market, four days, Dallas, Texas. Super Bowl, the highest exportation season, four days after was Seattle, Washington. 21 days, Seoul, Korea. We are 28,000 producers. Thank you.